I have something I want to tell you. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to get busy with my face. I love this part. Sometimes, because I don't really feel like I need foundation, to be honest. Sometimes I, I might skip it. Sometimes I might. I don't know how I'm feeling today. I don't know if I feel like skipping it. I feel like skipping it. Cardi B voice. <laughs> um, <laughs> think fast, think fast. I'm feeling today. I'm gonna skip it. I'm skipping it. I'm gonna just go straight in with my okay. Another thing I got from Malia J was this tat. This um, it is don't laugh at it. It is fucked up. My Kat Von D lock it in tattoo in I believe deep 36. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Toffee LA Girl Pro Conceal and Toffee. <laughs> I'm gonna use this first and then I'm gonna use my um Cavani like it. I don't know if I don't know what the problem is, like I'll be talking. I don't know. I don't usually talk so damn slow. But it's like I'm talking to y'all and I'm lagging. I don't know what the hell it is right now. Like But yeah, I'm just gonna use this cheap. Get the feeling. My skin is not bad. It, yeah, it may be a little discolored, but my skin is actually pretty good. Let my skin grow. And you're gonna create. I don't use. I don't. I. I won't say I create a triangle. I just create this shape. It, Cause it all depends on your face shape. Don't go too crazy because when you blend that out, you don't want to be blending for days. I don't like the same color but the consistency of the Kat Von D is like God and that was like an investment I loved it like when I first got this I was like in heaven so now I'm just gonna blend blend that out with my bluesy blender with that up with that up with that up and just you and just and just blend now you, I usually start like here and then work on the outside because it's so much easier to blend the outside first because when you go in the middle and you now you got so much product on your um on the outside you understand what I'm saying like it's just Less, when you go straight into where most of the product is, then when you go to blend the outside, it's like all that product that you just sweeped from your eye up there is going to look icky bucky. So, this is a new technique I'm trying. So, hopefully it works out. And this is just like right now, I thought of that. So, just going to, and I usually don't do this, blend the outside of one concealer and then do the outside of the other. But like I said before, today, should we must be feeling new, huh? We trying a lot of new things today. Damn, I messed up. I hate when I do that. But it's okay, because I'm going to go on with my concealer. But yeah, now I'm going to blend all of this up here. And I didn't apply any concealer really close into my eye. Because it, because all the concealer that you place there is going to wind up blending anyway. So... Regardless, you're going to get some coverage under your eye if you do it right. And look down if you have to, to work that into those little lines that are like located directly. Like I have the lines directly under my eye. And you're just going to work that right into the under eye. And just press that in. Don't be afraid to blend because this is the part that takes time. Like, it really takes time to get this right. Which is why I'm talking with you guys while I'm doing it. So you can see in real time how long it takes to blend. Because, you know, people speed up their videos not showing how vigorous this process is. Like, <laughs> it really takes time to do this. And you're just going to blend that out. Blend that out. Hope I bring it up. I'm just make sure everything's good. Then I'll go in with 
um, my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is what I use to apply my foundation if I do wear any, and just blend out, you know, any harsh lines. You don't want to blend where you apply your highlight in here, you just want to blend the outside. Now we're going to go in with our powder and we need to do this fast. You're going to look down and place that powder right up under your eye. You know, you're just going to place that. And with your sponge being damp, it helps apply the powder so much better and it sets so much better into the skin. It really does. And I don't go crazy with applying the powder like all the way down there. You know, I'm just gonna set these part. You know, and then I usually grab my Morphe um large powder brush. I grab my Mac in NC45, which is a face powder. And I just dust away the powder. Because I don't really, like I let it sit for like right now, I'm a totally I let it sit for a little while. So it can actually soak up and get into those lines. But I don't let it sit super long because again, my face is dry. So the powder, it just, it doesn't, it's not good. But as you can see, it just set that nice and, oof, we doing good today. So, I'm going to go in with, sometimes I go do my contour with LA Pro in um, mahogany or I do it in dark cocoa. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, concealer brush. I use this brush to contour. And I'm apply some of this to the back of my hand. Not too much. And just work the brush into that. And just apply it where I usually contour. And I'm just following the guideline of like my face sort of already has like the line where I could see. It's kind of easy for me to find it. Then I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Take your time. And you always want to work upwards when doing this. You don't want to go below where you created that line. So from this point on, we're just blending our contour upward toward that highlight. You you see how that just kind of cut it up? Okay, I'm just making sure. Let me just bring that up. Now, we're trying to create a... Sometimes people do it. I do it sometimes. I don't always do it. That like three to cut the face up. I don't always do it because I don't feel like it's always necessary. Especially when you're going for a natural look. You don't want to. You don't want to do all of that. But I don't want to do all of that. Let me say that. <laughs> Blend, baby, blend. I said, blend, baby, blend. Let me use my beauty blender to just make sure that is how it's supposed to be. You don't want it to be too dark. And right now, I'm just talking. This is stuff that just goes through my head on a daily basis. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance press powder and cafe. And apply that with a Shanty's Cosmetics, um, I guess little powder brush. I use these. These are like my first brushes. Like, started from the bottom, now we're here. You feel me? For real though. I'm just going to use that to set my contour.
and you're using a light hand you see how I'm holding the brush at the end because it gives me a lot more free to do all this other stuff and to guide the brush and I don't contour my nose because I like my little piggy button nose I appreciate her so I'm just gonna and I got this from my mom this lash this Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect um mascara this shit is sh the shit I love this stuff I have not used a pair of lashes since I've got it even though I miss my babies I do I miss y'all come back to me but yeah this is how I apply my mascara what you want to do is you want to sit it right under and just take your time and slowly work it through your lashes and you just do the same at the end just work that into your lashes now, I don't really have that much lash but the lash that I do have it made it pop I don't know if you can see the difference so like my camera just totally freaking shut off on me er, camera I guess I got tired of hearing me talk but yeah I was showing you guys my lashes um with the Maybelline mascara like I don't know if you can see the difference I see the difference but we gonna see where you know you just use this to work into your lash line and you want to take this slow because you don't want to mess up this masterpiece that you created on your eye with all this black so you just take your time and work that into your lashes And sometimes I even go in with a different mascara, like my Ruby Kisses um, ColourPop Mascara in black, and just go over that, you know, it doesn't really do much, but it doesn't matter. I don't apply mascara to my bottom lashes, because it, I just don't like it. But now we're going to, I apply my highlight first. Before I apply my um freaking blush, and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Powder Glow Illuminator True Match Lumi to set to put my um highlight on, and I just used up my finger to apply that at the highest point to my cheekbone. Sometimes I might even go and bring it up here you know just to open up my eyes a little bit apply it even here and you might even apply it in your inner um your inner eye area but yeah these are some places that you can place your highlight and on your nose your cupid's bow which is this part of your mouth and you just apply that highlight there and even in your forehead I'm gonna take my fan brush and I'm gonna just dust away whatever it might be, you know. Just spread that out a little bit around my face. I'm just gonna dust away what I can't see, really. And then I'm gonna place some of that here and here. Like I said before, everybody's face varies, so, you know places that I place my highlight may not work for everybody and places that you place your highlight may not work for me so this is all a learning process this is all a learning process we're learning together it's glow gang bitch oh Oh, and it's, um, this highlight is in golden. Is it? Let me not lie. Oh, I knew it was in golden. And I apply my highlight first before I apply any blush because it helps blend the highlight better. Because sometimes it looks like your highlight might just be sitting on your cheeks. You want it to look like you was born this way. 
Lady Gaga style. You you know what I'm saying? But right now I'm gonna go in with a bronze with my bronzer. And I'm just gonna use a all over face brush sort of dust off the excess and just go over my everything with this bronzer just to warm my face up a little bit. But I'm gonna start with my contour over that highlight and just work that you see how my Morphe brushes is giving me so oh, just freaking shedding and just just you know use that bronzer move my face back up okay now that that's done we're going to go in with my blush now I'm gonna use black radiance and toasted almond today it's like a reddish um blush it's good for our skin tone like I I like it um, I'm gonna use my Morphe Angle Blush Brush. Work that into the product. Sorry if I'm not showing y'all like how I'm doing it, but I feel like y'all might actually have the basis. I would hope. If not, let me know in the comments below. And I smile, place it on the apple of my cheek, and just first I would just work it, and then I blend it into my face. But I make sure I press the powder into first and then I blend it with me just same thing on this side. I did everything already. Now I'm just gonna take my LA Girl Pro Setting Spray and I'm just gonna set my face with it. While that dries, sometimes I even like to go over it with my powder brush. So everything is blended and don't worry about disturbing anything because everything on your face is already sort of set. So don't worry, don't go crazy. Now I'm going to take my MAC Dazzle Glass. I am not sure on the name of this because I had it for a while now. But it's orange and I like it. <laughs> so I use it. So I'm thinking I'm wearing this turban. And you just So before my camera turns off again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um let me know some looks that you guys are you know are interested in. I may be able to recreate them and help you guys figure out how to do them. So yeah. Um if you're new to my channel again, welcome to Plus Size by Default. Enjoy. I have something I want to tell you.